I'm here at the General Assembly uh, number seven of the WFFP here in, in Delhi. And uh, as it happens, I was here 20 years ago when this was formed. And I think it's, it's, it's really very apt that we're in Delhi now because it was really out of the movement here in India that, that, the, that the international movement uh, grew. And so uh, it's, uh, it's a really good moment for the movement because we're returning to our roots. And uh, the NFF is, is uh, um, hosting us here. And really, uh, it was, um, it was uh, Thomas Kocheri who was really the, 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 the guiding spirit behind the creation of this movement. So it, uh, it uh, means a lot to me personally, but I think it means a lot to the whole movement to come back uh, here to the renewal of the, of the movement. Can you talk a bit about the uh, one issue that the Canadian fish workers, probably the SSF or something else, the Canadian fish workers and the struggle yeah. that WFFP has had yeah. uh, for the yeah. Canadian fish yeah. So people think maybe countries of the north, industrialized countries, don't have small-scale fishers uh, and fisheries, but in fact they do. And we have indigenous fisheries and uh, we have many other small-scale harvesters who face the same issues that countries of the global south uh, face. And and it's been very important for Canada to be involved, particularly in the development of the uh, guidelines for small-scale fisheries that were developed by the FAO, Agency of the United Nations, because very strongly in there, the rights of indigenous people are recognized as part of the rights and the human rights of small-scale fisher people. So for Canadian indigenous people, it's very important to have that recognition. And, the WFFP was always very clear and very strong and articulate that, that the rights of Indigenous people are integral to the struggle. What is the way forward for fish workers of the global, at the global level to come together and what are the main uh, strategies that they should probably think about? I would say the main strategies for small scale fisheries are, are not new. It's all about organizing. And, and uh, we organize maybe in different ways now. We have social media, we have all sorts of changes, but fundamentally having a very strong grass, grassroots organization, such as the movement here in India, is the key. But at the same time, I think, you know, creating solidarity between the different national movements is a very important part of the strategy as well. And, um, and uh, central to that, uh, both at the local level and at the international level is the role of women in the fishery.